The feud is between Holy Donuts Cafe in Klamath Falls and Holy Donuts in Portland, Maine. The Klamath location spells holy like a hole in a donut. In Maine, they spell it the religious way. The Klamath Falls shop tells me the name similarity was unintentional, but the Portland, Maine shop says they've had a year to change it. We never intended to infringe on this trademark. We did the research ahead of time. Holy Donuts Cafe in Klamath Falls is searching for a new name after being forced to change it. All of our signage has been taken off the building. It's actually blank right now while we try to think of a name. Michelle Moore and her husband Chris Newton say they chose the name Holy Donuts, spelled H-O-L-E-Y, after one of their grandchildren came up with the name. If it hadn't been for that, we probably wouldn't have held out quite so long to just change it. It wasn't long before their name got the attention of the Holy Donut, spelled H-O-L-Y in Portland, Maine. For me, for us, it's just holes and holy. You know, it's just, I know that it's close, but it's just not the same word. And so we felt safe enough that it was okay. The message from the Maine Donut Shop asked Moore and Newton to either change their name or sign a coexistence agreement allowing them to keep the name, but would prevent them from opening a second location. The couple admits they didn't comply. To them, the words had different meanings. We fully believed that a whole was not the same as God, and that was what our take was. But in this case, it didn't matter. Jeff Buckwalter, the CEO of the Holy Donut in Portland, Maine, had already trademarked several differently spelled versions of the phrase Holy Donut. When Moore and Newton tried to open a food truck last year under the same name, it got serious. We got served with papers. Buck Walter declined an interview request but did release a lengthy statement. And he says, quote, We trademarked our company name to protect the brand we are building as many businesses do. One of the realities of owning a trademark is that you are bound and obligated to defend it. If you choose not to, you will lose your rights to it. End quote. We went to Holy Dota and said, Okay, you win. We'll stop using the name. Despite the whole ordeal, Moore says they have selected a new name and they're moving on. Nothing else about their small family owned Klamath Falls business is changing. No matter what we name it, they're still going to come. And we appreciate it a lot. Moore says their new name will be Doughy Donuts and Sandwiches. Live in the studio, Katie Streit, NBC5 News.